Okay. <laughs> I am nervous. <laughs> so today's video is all about the seven wardrobe essentials, classics as they say, that I think are becoming outdated. Don't hate me. This could be the end of Shea Whitney, I, I, I don't know. Just hear me out. I know people don't like apologizing, justifications, prefacing, but I just want you to know I'm, I'm on your side. I, like, I'm on your side. Many of these things I have. Many of these things, if I would see someone wearing them in the grocery store, the movie theater, the mall, um, I wouldn't even think twice about it. But I do have a YouTube channel where I, I buy a lot of clothes. Um, I, I see what's in the stores. I purge a lot of things. Um, so I'm starting to, to see that these things possibly, potentially, um, might become dated. We might remember this as the time that we wore these things. So to prove to you that we are, in fact, on the same team, and I quite like many of these items, uh, I'm gonna start out with leopard print. That's right, I said it, leopard print. I love leopard print. I have so many things in leopard print. In fact, I might even do a little dance for you in all of my leopard print items. Because you can go to the store and basically buy anything you possibly could imagine in this particular print, although it is classic, it is so big right now, which is great for me. It's just so big right now that I feel like we're kind of, this is like the era of leopard print. And when that kind of thing happens, people associate it with that time period. And so I'm concerned that going forward, it's gonna just come completely crumble and leopard print will just be completely out of style, which was never in my plans at all. I wanted it to be a classic thing. Like, I, and you know what? With like everything that I'm gonna say today, if you love it, you freaking keep it, okay? This is just kind of a fun video, just my thoughts, um, and you can totally disagree, but RIP leopard print, maybe. Number two, blazers. Hear me out, I say that a lot. I think blazers will stand the test of time. It's just the different types of blazers come in, in and out. So right now we're in the phase, if you have a blazer, and, and I don't know why, how I had this epiphany, but it like hit me. Um, if you have a blazer that has three to four buttons, more than like three to four plus buttons, it's outdated. It's outdated, so go check your collection. But right now, oh man, the boyfriend, oversized blazers, they, th those, you're looking good in those. So just FYI, blazer styles, they come in, they go. Just keep them all, apparently. I don't know. Hey, so, <laughs> this is a future Shay. I'm just adding this part into the video. Uh, I just checked my phone and I hit 900,000 subscribers on this channel. And I'm very excited about it. And I haven't done a giveaway in so long. So I thought, why not? We're in the Christmas season. The spirit of giving is very high right now. I thought, why not just give away $900 in celebration of 900,000? Wish I could give that much money, I can't do that. If you want to enter this giveaway, I will have it open for two weeks, so it'll end right around Christmas time, and I'll send the money to you really fast, it'll be a great Christmas present. You just have to be subscribed to this channel. Um, you can also, if you want, to enter on my Instagram. Um, I'll try to like combine the entries. I'll have some type of giveaway photo there. Uh, but yeah, comment below. Comment something super random about yourself to enter. Like, I could juggle, I can juggle. That If I was entering this contest, I would comment that. Uh, it's random, but it's cool. And this it'll, it'll be a random winner, so don't think that your cool talents will get you anywhere. Uh, but thanks so much and back to the video. And then we have this, the Gucci belt. If this doesn't remind you of the teens of the 2000s, then the teens of the 2000s. We're like at the end of the decade and I don't even know what you call it. But anyway, the Gucci belt. I love this belt. I could just put this on right now and really like it. Yeah, and so does everybody else, because man, if if you look back on all of those Instagram photos that you most likely liked, uh, I bet this was involved. I just kind of think that in like two or three years, when we look back again at this time, 
this is gonna be a dated look. And, and the verdict is still out over here with the Gucci bags, the Gucci Marmot bags. I love mine. I'm not getting rid of them. I'm not even getting rid of this. I kind of don't think those are gonna be classic bags. Everybody's like debating that and I'm sure some of you could care less um, and that's probably wiser. Yeah, I, I, I think that the Gucci belts might have had its day. It's, it's the day's over. How does that expression go? I don't know. Okay, so finally, we're gonna talk about something that I don't like. Sorry if you do. Actually, sorry, sorry I said sorry. Ugg boots. Yes, Ugg boots. So there once was a time where it was very stylish to pair Ugg boots with leggings, with jeans, pretty much just with anything and you looked fab. I don't think that's the case anymore. Uh, I think that Ugg boots can be great for winter occasions skiing on those slopes. Actually, is that the right footwear? I'm not sure. Say it snows. I think Ugg boots are great. They keep your feet nice and toasty. Nordstrom has amazing sales on them all of the time, but I don't think throwing them on with leggings is the best style or fashion option. Round-toed heels. Now, I've made it known very well on my channel that I prefer pointy versus round, especially when it comes to flats. But I'm here to say I really think that's the case with heels. So I'm going to insert a picture that you probably already saw on the thumbnail because I'm a planner and I already made the thumbnail for this video before I even filmed it. So here it is. It's dancing around there. I think those are outdated. Uh, they'll probably come back. But right now, pointy toed heels, they're the best. I personally think those really are the most classic heels. Mm, I like them a lot. The next thing or things, you're gonna eat me alive. Literally, you're going to eat me alive. And guys, I don't want this to be the case. I don't want this to be true. I hope it's not true. But I'm genuinely concerned that cardigans are gonna become outdated. And I love car, hold on a minute. I freaking love my cardigans. Okay, I have so many. This is just, this is just a little of them. I'm not saying to get rid of them. It's just that I, I see them so much and I'm just starting to think that maybe they're gonna become a thing of the past. We're going to look back on this time and remember this was the era of the cardigan. And that makes me sad. I'm gonna put these back now. And you just think about that. I hope I'm wrong. I, I genuinely hope I'm wrong because, oh man, I really like, really like my cardigans, but only time will tell. So let's just, let's think happy thoughts and move on to the, the last point. So this, this one I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. I don't really care. It's the bomber jacket. I have so many of them and I just think it's outdated. I think there are far superior jacket options out there, like the military jacket, the denim jacket, a trench coat. This one's actually really cool. It's black, but it's also reversible. So, you know, it turns to pink. <laughs> you know what that means. I might keep it, but generally, bomber jackets are a little boxy. So I think they're outdated. But anyway, that's this video. I hope you enjoyed it and wow. <laughs> That's not even inside out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining, but also thought provoking. Yes. If you liked it, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing if you happen to be new. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.